Hey, I'm Kev Kermesco, and welcome back to IMSA at Lime Rock Park. Wonderful. As we've got a field of 36, 21 GTEs, 15 GT3s. And I've got to adjust my mic. I've got some ducking and weaving to do around here. As you may notice something in qualifying. Pole 47 8. I'm perhaps not that good. In practice, I got to the mid 48. So I could have been in the top yes. three or four yes. on the grid. But instead, I decided to just be stupid and get incidents and crash a lot. So instead, I start 13th out of 15 in the GT3 class. Round the track where we can't really pass. You will see this in this race if we survive to the finish of 45 minutes. We've got over 55, around 56 laps. We're going to pit around 32 laps from what I've seen. 30 to 32 laps. So I have no idea how we're going to make it up into, say, the top five. Maybe just by surviving. That's what I've seen so far. If you just survive, you'll get a decent position because we're going to be lapped. We've got to survive, find each other, and get a lapped round. You'll see this, Lime Rock Park. If you've never seen Lime Rock Park before, first of all, you missed the IMSA race at the weekend, which, is, which I did as well. Got to catch up on that. But look. It's got a handful of corners. And it is tight and twisty. And less than a mile long, if I remember rightly. It is ridiculous. And this is the old version of Lime Rock Park, which is not as wide open in some sections because I've had it a chicane. Uh, so debating the ethics of what's a number two. Always, always good to debate that. I think that's the right amount of fuel. I can only hope I make it to the pit stops. At least we're in a good position here, starting right at the back. We should avoid everything. So I'm side by side by someone in the final court. I don't really want to be doing that. Everyone, just go. Crash each other. I'll be here to pick up the pieces. That might have been one crash. But it's a point I expected more. Obviously, it's the end of the week, recording us on a Monday. It's like the penultimate race of the week. So maybe everyone's actually learned how to survive the opening lap now. No, so we are literally just cruising. There's one down. We're going to try and create a slingshot here for the front stretch. But he hit the curb on the inside, so he didn't. So <laughs> that's one that down, just 55 to go. At least for the leading classes, we've got around 52, I guess, 53. But we're up to 13, so three drivers were like, yeah, we're bailing, or just crashed. We might as well try and make some moves as well early on before it gets a bit chaotic with the lapping and have no X's because you never know we might get we might turn into a bumper car when we get that we've got a GTE catching us already that was always nice, getting the rear end out, under braking, so 50.7. We should be a couple of seconds quicker there, ideally. Yellow flag, caution. Left side, all clear on the left. 
There's an incident in right. Uh, there's there's chaos in front. Okay, go. Inside that's the top five in our class, which got into some incidents. So we're actually fighting for cars now for position behind us. Like actual bitches in, in class says, oh my god, that's terrible. All right. Still there. And the thought of that just scared me, so. Hold your line. Careful, still there. Still trying to hold it. Hold your line. We're gonna have to right. give it up. B12. But that's just a little taste of the chaos, which is bound to come. Let's wait till we actually have different classes and lapping happening. Let's go. Watch those track limits. We don't want a penalty. Did you see there's a car covering the whole of the track? What was I meant to do? Let's, whoa, what the hell is the car in front doing? Jones and Kim in the airport car on your left. Still there. Clear left. Guess he's going to the pits. Or not? Okay. Tenth position. So into the top ten. That's objective one done. Also, well, we might actually be able to run at a pace that we want to. So you can hear that fuel window very wide. Martin was closing you down. The gap has come down to zero point two zero. He's faster than you, entering West Bend. Find faster than me on the rest. Defensive position. Don't let him through. So we go mid forty eights immediately when we get clear. There's an incident in Big Bend. You think it might be there? So made up another position. And someone else has gone wide in front. Don't know why I had the brake so hard, I've always he's a bit further away than I thought. Once again my sight failing me. Wrong. No, he's not. He's... I mean, he's a bit out of position, no doubt, but I wouldn't say he's wrong. Oh, you mean in class? I mean, thought you meant the GT car in front. Oh, you have to turn in so early into these corners. Car on your right. All clear on the right. Up Saw that coming, so I thought he's quicker than me. I might as well let him by. I know I'm racing, actually racing for him, but that's just going to end up in trouble because he's going to be. Aggressive, no doubt. Looks like brown. And we just want to make it through this race. We just think of the long term hell feel of our race. As he already got the GT leaders coming up towards us as well, behind. See a bit wide. This long right hand up. Uh. 
this one is pretty slow in front. That's coming from me. You know that's bad. Well, the battling. Bit wider in final corner. Has it going like three wide? Hey, wasn't the guy we were battling on the first lap? Well, we're trying to attack Wong. We've got that. That's a bit wide. I know, that's why I want to try and get up to Wong and pass him before that happens. Now I have to wonder how the hell am I going to GT lead a boy? At what point? Front is now 0.9. I'm guessing that's a good point. Having not too much time behind either. Or to Wong in front, but it looks like one's going to be caught in the front stretch, unfortunately. Zero point six off the pace. Blue flag E9. It's a bit too far back to let him go. So wide. You can track it stand there, but you've got a fit R. Thick ass curb, but. Oh, your left. Passing a bit too much of it there. Train behind. Oh, it's all once again. That's massively wide. Right. Careful, car on your right. Clear right. Car on your left. Clear left. Now you may be wondering, why the heck do you just break for the number six? That's because that's the guy with the highest ping. So going side by side into a corner, I'm not sure if we line up. So I'm just like, let him go. Hey, there we go. We actually made that corner for once. Horrendous, you right out of the final corner. Probably, probably should have blended out the front a bit early on the straight. At the final way. Like right at the end. Is it 
cars behind you. They're racing for position. Yeah, I see a train. I just let four of them by. I let a gaggle go. How many more of them can there be? So I hope we're not losing too much time to all the guys in front. That one wasn't too bad on the front stretch. I just stayed in the front a bit too much. Now we can maybe get back into the 48s as well. This is good. Keep banging out them lap times. There's a group of faster cars behind. Are you sure that's a 50.3? Yes. Hello. Blue flag. Clear on the left side. The car in front is clear on your right. Car on your right. Clear right. That's cool, that got a bit crazy. <laughs> it survived, that's the main thing. Just want to survive this race. Don't even care that we're not really fighting for the win here. Yes, that's a big fat curb on the inside, I probably shouldn't be hitting. Oh, you go behind us. Whoa, someone is still spun around. What the hell? Easy car on your left. Clear left. Somehow managed to make that work. Don't worry, there's only 21 of them from my last count. We're almost at the end. Saw someone down. There were 21 of them. That was a 50.47. Car behind's a faster class. The gap to patch, it seems to be consistent. That's good. So it's a gap to the guys in front. That's a row up to eight. got one behind us. He was probably caught up in that incident, wasn't he? But uh, yeah. Where? Okay, Kev. You've used half your fuel. Well, we really are extending the pit window then. Watch out. Only used half the fuel. Things are up to seven. So that's massively wide. And again, good job. All right, all clear on the right. Was that the guys we just let by? A bit of a tete a tete. -tet. There's a class car approaching. We're about to be that by our class leader, are we? Bloody hell. Actually, it doesn't look like we are. P4, you've just done a 50.47. Incident in left hander. I'm not P4, am I? Oh, there's a car in 
accident in Uphill. We think it might be Nixon. So we're in towards the top five though, just by surviving. There we are, getting into our rhythm now. Once, see, smacking those curves, that's our rhythm. Oh, how am I P5? It's got a good gap behind. Which I like to see. I have no idea about the time. I'll be up to 22 of that, but... It's still probably less than 20 minutes. Like, way less than 20 minutes. Like we're probably only a third of the way through the race. That's true. No, we're almost 20 minutes through the race. Oh, God. Yellow flag. All right, Kev. There's a faster class car approaching. I think P4's gone off in. Left-hander. That's very descriptive there. At least we've got some clean air now. We can just get back into our zone. We're just running wide. As we are into the top five as well. No way are we pre free. Stop stop giving us hope. Crew chief, okay? Need to stop dragging the throttle. Means using the brake is not as effective in some of these corners. That's better, like we got there wasn't overlap in there as much. Someone's already got disqualified, bloody hell. Stop staying on P3. Yellow flag, watch out. There's an incident in. Right hander, you think it might be Walsh. Is that the right hander coming up? There's an incident in. Down that's four. That's all, that's way too much curb. Just using the brakes on the straight there, just so that, just let that guy know we can come by. Because I, because there's no point pressing buttons. Buttons with the days. And I don't have a mic that I'm especially going to be using to speak over. As you got the class leader again coming up to lap us. Just when we thought we were free. P5, that was at 49.45. Oh god, I'm into the 49. Oh god, that's wide. Careful, car on your right. They're on your right. Okay, Kev, you've got 10 minutes of fuel remaining. 
So we're going around. So we're doing actually around two thirds of the race then. Faster car approaching, blue flag, that's half distance. God, so I keep forgetting to not shift up to fifth. Just need to keep it in fourth in these corners. They are building a gap to Wong behind, which is good to see. I need to think of changing down the second for that corner, just to help with getting a turn into that corner. Couple of that, couple more have left the building. Thank you. Uh, someone's taken a very wide route there. I would not recommend that line round it. I know it looks popular, like everyone going wide. But it's not the recommended route. But here comes the class leader. Trying to slow down enough that they overtake us on the straight. Don't think I've succeeded though. Oh, there we go. That's how you do it. Just run massively wide in the final corner. So I was saying on P3, I'm fourth. It's like, that's only because Martin's pitted very early. So he's gone for a race of two halves. Okay, Kev, don't think about the lap times. Just hit each and every apex. That's 20 minutes to go. That's what I've been trying to do. We've got someone slow in front. That's right, that's a lot of curbing. I'm doing my best there to survive the demolition derby of Lime Rock, okay? We have a gap behind, we have a gap behind, so we've got a window to pit now. We see how quick they close up to us. But the lead is coming in. So we might pit this lap actually. Now I've remembered to turn off the tyres this time. And taken some fuel out as well. So hopefully we should have a much quicker pit stop than we had last time. So we'll pit next lap, I think. As the car is actually in our class, luckily. You thought your lap time was 49.13. Not a 48, though. That's not good enough. Because then we've got clean air. Oh, that second does help with rotation. Why weren't we doing that early in the race?
bit of a scruffy line in there. We might as well extend this as far as we can with this clean air. Oh, losing the brake in the middle of the corner. That got some rotation on the front. Still 49-1 though, that's not good. And so 16 seconds behind third. Are we gaining? GTA is pit, I think. You might as well pit this lap. Because they're going to catch us at the end of the next lap. Might as well preempt that. Let's check we got the fuel level, right? So where's our pit crew? What? There's traffic approaching, watch your mirrors. Oh, that's a good run through pit lane, just a practice. God's sake. We're just practicing our pit entry, okay? I know you normally meant to do it in practice, but we thought we'd do it in the race. Incident in Big Bend, it looks like Schneider. So we're at the end of this lap, shall we? And what's Plastic Big Ben? There's, there's quite a few of Big Ben's round here, crew chief. There's a guy in front just monsters the curb. Oh my god, we're pitting immediately. No wonder we missed our guy. Good hit. God, you put us like in the worst pit stall. No wonder he missed him. Okay, Kev, 15 minutes left. That's 15 minutes. Keep it nice and smooth. Hopefully, I'm getting ourselves unnecessary us. damage. As we've overfueled a bit. What? Did it put the tyres back on? No! Do not give us tyres. Well, that wasted another 10 seconds. Down the seventh we go. Disengage limiter. Take care, there's a car approaching. Blue flag. Yeah, I don't buy. Oh, man. We had a top five, a maybe, in our grass there. I thought I got rid of the tyres at the beginning of the race, obviously not. I'm sneakily snuck them back on. So that's also what you've got to do on a warm up lap then instead of on the grid. So he's pitting behind, thank God for that. Okay, Kev, come on, stay focused. Apex oh, crap, we've got German royalty from the early 20th century in front of us. See, that's the guy we were battling with in front of us. That upper front in front of us. Well, not really battling with, he's a bit ahead of us, but... Since it's the guy behind him we were battling. It's a faster class car behind. What well, take good. Uh, so you overtaking us? Blue yeah. flag. Well, I was gonna say at least we're surviving. Even if we are going two laps down in it, it's like to the lead of our class. 
Maybe that would teach me to actually qualify. Not be a dimwit. Well, I'm glad this is our only run at this race. I couldn't hang with my nerves like this for another 45 Let's minutes around it. This guy's the fast leader. Oh, overall, damn. No wonder you don't change side, the car is much more stable after the pit stop. Six. Six. Sixth? Is this for seventh? A bit confused again, crew chief. Go on the power a bit early. So how much we lost, we're like, we lost around 20 seconds of long and that's just due to our pit practice. It's going to be very difficult to make that up. It's a little bit wide there. That's a big fast curve. On your right. All clear on the right. Blue flag. Uh, oh, not all minutes. Minutes. Ten minutes remaining. Ten minutes. Well, I'm happy it's only four off trucks. That's pretty good. And so the impractices are all over the place. It's a very tough circuit to get right. Especially when you're multi-class racing. That's right, that's very wide. That's the class car approaching. All right, they're on your right. Blue flag. Right, that's a lot of curb. Not long to survive though, we've almost made it. What, 10 laps I think to go? For us, if I've got the maths right. So how many times we've been lapped. Like three or four laps down. Got it down the second a bit too late though. Gap two, one ahead is now 7.7 seconds. So you are just losing time to it, unfortunately. But now we've got some clean air, we might be able to gain a bit. Because he's still got some lapped cars to that boy. We don't for the time being. We can get back into the 48s. There's fifth behind us, no! Guy should be battling with over a top five. Not that I think we were remotely close to him anyway, but...
especially if he's a lap ahead of us already. God's sake, why do I keep hitting that inside curb? I'm an absolute idiot. That's a little crash. Your last lap time was at 49. Big That's fourth in class in front. Wonder if he's going to use me as a blocker to stop fifth overtaking him. As you are catching wrong, 5.7 behind. We actually are keeping up. Despite running a bit wide in the final corner. That was the GT on all that, wasn't it? You've just done a 49.74. You need to keep with Martin if I want to overtake wrong, I think. Seconds. I thought you got that traffic in front. They are actually pulling away from fifth in class. So that's very wide. No, that traffic. Still 5.9 by though. No. Don't hit the inside curb there. Especially at that angle. Bloody hell. Yellow flag. So it's in front. Wow, in the GTE class. It's all wrong about to be that. For battling it. Oh, top five in front. 4.2 seconds up in front. So we've got a change in class to lead on. Push in. Staying with Martin. There's, oh God. That lap time was 49.16. Blue flag. Incident. Big bend. Looks like it's wrong. Oh, it's wrong. Oh, good, why? Oh, God, do you want to make the move or not? Right, clear right. on your right. We're going to join in as well, might as well make the move too. The car's behind. You've just done a hey, we got the top five dream. That's despite being terribly slow. Make it through. Clear right. There's an 
gets it into Big Ben. Looks like Bayer. See, he just surviving. Oh, he's almost down in front. There's an incident in. Don't Left get hand. rewards. Looks like it's Bayer. It's a faster car approaching. So, is that our back row buddy down as well? There's two minutes left. Two minutes. No. Has he got three laps to go, I think? You've just done a 51.03. If it's two minutes. So we've lost sight of Martin, who's ahead of us, I think. That's all, that's very wide. On your right. All clear on the right. I don't think you wanted a pass there, but I messed up that corner majorly. Kind of forced him to do that. Kaiser. What happened to Martin? Oh, Martin's in foot. Whoa, he's one of the leaders who binned it. Uh, it's not the help. That's an interesting place to park up. It's not even the end of the race yet, mate. Still got a couple of laps to go. That should be the slogan for this race, shouldn't it? For GC3s. Oh, the lap around the line park, past the car approaching. Every lap. Man, I'm sweating through this chair. I've got a paddling pool going on as we've made it to the white flag. Don't know how. Considering I haven't really driven that well, to be honest. I can drive much better around. We haven't hit enough 48, to be honest. Especially early on, maybe should have been a bit more aggressive. So yeah, that's a mistake, being a bit too cautious and expecting chaos to unravel, but... Get us out of trouble. For the most part, we stayed out of trouble. We haven't had any car contact, which is a miracle. Very close near the end, though. That was probably our closest with the BMW. It's a group of faster cars behind E5. I don't think anybody really cares, though. We go for the final corner. Almost from the back, two fifth. We will take that. Like P2's gone off in big bend. E5. Okay, that's the end. Good for that was a well good done. race. I hope you enjoyed it as well. I'll be back with more IMSA in hopefully less chaotic circumstances next week. So thanks for watching and I'll see you then.